Hello guys, welcome to the Bitcoin show this morning. We're <clears throat> going to talk about Bitcoin and where I think it's going and what I think is going to happen. But these are just my opinions. This is not financial advice. This is just what I think is, is going on and what I think is going to happen with Bitcoin. And you know on my channels, oftentimes I will actually do stuff that other guys don't do. I'll give price predictions of what I think things are gonna where I think things are going and I'll kind of uh, I'll kind of put myself out there a little bit you know and uh, heck you know I uh, believe me I've done this ever since I started my channel and uh, I think that I'm, I'm right more than 50% of the time <laughs> I think I'm right about 70% of the time uh, so that means I'm wrong 30% of the time but uh, my track record of predicting where things would go, uh, oftentimes I get, I oftentimes I get it right because I'm not making these predictions just like willy nilly. Like I don't have any information behind my prediction. And generally, I have uh, reasoning and common sense, uh, and I take a lot of facts and put them together to draw a conclusion. Uh, sort of almost like detective work. You know, and uh, I do an awful lot of research on my channel. So I'm going to give you what my price predictions are and what I think is going to happen. I think Bitcoin right now is still in a bull market. you got to be awful careful with it. And uh, I think that it's going to remain in this bull market. Not bull market, I mean bear market. It's in a bear market. Sorry, I said bull market, I mean bear market. It's in a bear market right now. And it's still in the bear market. It hasn't broke free yet. And the, uh, the price right now has become stagnant. We're going to open up the charts. Uh, let's take a look uh, and see what's going on. Uh, let's get the charts open. Just a sec. Let me find my charts here. <laughs> Sometimes I have to work on them a little bit. Okay, start the charts right here. And here we go. Uh, let's take a look now at uh, cryptocurrency today. And we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin price first thing. And we're, you know, we're looking at $5,048 now. It's been stagnant here. For a little while, stuck kind of in this this price around just just slightly over five thousand dollars, and it's not showing a lot of forward momentum upwards. But here's the thing: we're still in this bear market, and this price, you know, uh, we could see more buying opportunities. Now, some people are predicting that it's going to go down below two thousand dollars. I don't think you're going to see that. I really don't. I think that the bear action now at this point that's taken it down from twenty thousand dollars all the way down to like thirty one hundred and something. I think that they're I think that we're we're getting long and really long in the tooth in this bear market now at this point. And the only real action that the bears are having now is to keep the price suppressed from going up further. But they got a little bit of bear action left where they can still take the price down. I'm thinking 47, 46, maybe 4,500. Maybe down into the 3,000s again if they're really lucky. And that's where I think we're at right now. But I think we're going to continue along, like going along like this for a while longer. Uh, how long? I don't know. But for a while longer, we're going to continue to go along like this. So what we're in right now is... Is now this is the part that's not financial advice, but this is my opinion only. Is that we're in the accumulation phase for the smart guys out there, guys that try to buy the dips, but be cautious. You got to be very cautious buying the dips right now because the price could go lower on you. So you've got to anticipate ahead of time. That you might buy in, say it goes down to 4,700, and you buy in, you think, hey, you know, I got a great deal. Well, it could drop down to 4,500, and then all of a sudden you're saying, oh, gee, I should have waited just a little bit longer. You know what I mean? We're in that kind of a situation right now, where the price, I think, is going to dipsy doodle. It's going to kind of go down a little bit and come up a little bit and go down, but basically going along slightly sideways, maybe with a very, very slight upward trend to it. Uh, we're in that period right now. So, so let's take a look at uh, at the cryptocurrency market capitalizations this morning. It's 
1.6 billion. Now, you know what's kind of been there lately with Bitcoin dominance of 52%. Well, 52%, you know, is right on line where Bitcoin dominance probably should be around. It stays around that range. Now, in the future, I see that dropping back down lower, that Bitcoin dominance. But this is looking out a couple years, two, three years into the future, you know. Uh, Bitcoin market cap by that time, by the time it drops down to like, slowly drops down to about 20% dominance. The Bitcoin market cap will be massively higher than it is now. So I'm going to give you guys a few price predictions of where I think Bitcoin's going this morning. And uh, I'm getting ready. I'm leading into that. Uh, but let's take a look now at uh, at this story. Uh, Short-term Bitcoin bear. Hodlers to be decimated by BTC dump down to $2,000. So he, he thinks the Bitcoin is going to crash to $2,000, claims this trader. Well, <laughs> I don't think the bears got that much energy left at this point. I think they've expended most of their the, most of their energy, and I don't think they have near enough energy to drive Bitcoin down to two thousand dollars. They'd be they'd be luck, doing lucky if they cross support in around forty seven hundred. You know, I think they would be doing really well the bears if they can break through the support around forty seven hundred. Um, I don't think they have near enough energy to get it down to two thousand dollars. You'd have to uh, well. I just don't think it's going to happen at this point in time uh, that it's going to drop down that low. In fact, I can't see it dropping into it with a two in front of it anymore at this point. 2,900, in other words. I can't even see it dropping that low. Uh, I could see it going down into like 3,900 maybe if they have a lot of action behind them. And the, but I'm going to tell you, I think if it drops down back, back, back down to the 3,000s, I think it's time to do some buying. And, and that's just my opinion only. It's not financial advice. But I, I'm right now, I'm personally, I'm in an accumulation phase. And I've got some Litecoins. So I'm not thinking so much about accumulating Litecoins. I'm thinking about accumulating Bitcoin right now. That's the coin I'm after. And, and I'm going to explain to you why. I think that my personal opinion is that that uh, Bitcoin is on its way, and when it finally starts to take off and leave this bear market, and I think it's only months away, I don't think it's years away, and but I think it's a multiple number of months away before it starts, this next bull. I think it's going to be, Bitcoin's going to go up to extremely high prices. And then what I'm anticipating is a crash. But I'm going to tell you about this next crash. It's going to be just as severe as the last crash. When we went up to $20,000 and Bitcoin crashed. Okay. Everybody out there got negative on Bitcoin and everything. Huge crash. I think we're heading in for a huge crash again. And, but I think this time, I think the price is going to go up massively high. I'll tell you what I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating Bitcoin to go to a quarter of a million dollars a piece just before the crash. And then I'm anticipating it to crash down similar to what it just did from 20,000 all the way down to 3,000 bucks, basically $3,000. From 20,000 down to 3,000. I'm anticipating a huge crash in the price of Bitcoin. Uh from $250,000, it's going to crash down to, I don't know. I don't know. 30000 maybe. $30,000 maybe it'll crash down to. But uh, I think that's going to be the last crash. I think that what's going to happen after that is, is we're going to see Bitcoin slowly come back from that, from being knocked down from $250,000 to $30,000 and then it's going to slowly come back from that and it's going to slowly heat up. It's going to do the same process all over again and it's just done a number of times before. But that's going to be the last crash because when it starts to go up then from $30,000 and it starts to slowly climb back up, 
it's not going to come back down again that time. That that it's going to go up and stay up forever. It's and that's when that's when the the final transfer of wealth is going to occur over into the cryptocurrencies. And that's going to be world changing at that point. Uh, Bitcoin will finally have been ready. It's finally ready. All the way up until where it's ready, what it's been doing is going through a series of, of, of bull markets and bear markets. And every time the bear market comes, it falls back down, but not as low as it was before. We got one more of these in the process. One more big bull market and one more big crash. One more bear market. And it'll be the final bear, <coughs> the final bear market. But uh, the thing about this is most of you out there are going to lose your Bitcoins. A lot of you are going to lose your Bitcoins. And they're going to, when the market peaks this time, you're going to be too, uh, you're going to be too, uh, when it goes to $250,000, I think that most of you out there that are holding Bitcoins in my audience are going to just be too tempted when it hits two hundred fifty thousand dollars a coin you're gonna to be too tempted to profit take myself included and i think we're gonna lose most of our bitcoins us poorer people the rich that are really into this stuff they probably know better and they'll probably stick it through until the final phase where bitcoin goes up to where it's going to destroy the fiat currencies you know and uh, Bitcoin's price then, you won't be able to price it in dollars anymore. You won't be able to sell off for dollars anymore. Uh, but on this next rise up to $250,000 a, a coin, you'll still be able to, you'll still be able to sell off for dollars. But on the next one after that, when Bitcoin finally rises up where it's supposed to be, you won't be able to sell off for dollars. Bitcoin will be the money. It'll be the man, you know, at that point in time. So that's where I think we're headed with all this now. This is just my analysis. These are just my ideas. Uh, this is not reflective on what Bitcoin is really going to do. Because all I'm doing is making future predictions of what I think it's going to do. I want to make that clear to you guys. And it's by certainly not financial advice. Because these are just my ideas of what I think is going to happen. With this particular cryptocurrency uh, so I think it's a number of months away before it finally starts to heat up and comes out of this bear and I think it's giving uh, people out there uh, a great some great buying opportunities you know and in, into in, in to get to learn how also to learn how to actually get into the cryptocurrency world and learn how to use these wallets and learn how to function within the system you know uh, this is a learning curve and this is part of the reason why Bitcoin is down at these prices is because the learning curve is still happening across the world. People are learning how to use cryptocurrencies. They're, they're very skeptical at first. Uh, when they first use a cryptocurrency, they're scared they're going to lose their money. They're scared of it. They don't know how the, the technology works. They don't know how the wallet works. They don't know much of anything. And pe some people have told them they're going to lose their money, but these, they're taking a risk and they're trying it and they're just trying a little bit of money with it to see if it actually functions. After they use it a little while, they start to realize, hey, you know, this stuff really works. I can actually send money across the Internet with this stuff. And then later they learn how good it works. Uh, as long as you do everything properly the way you're supposed to, there's almost zero possibility of a failed transaction. <laughs> Zero. You know, but I mean, when you use the regular money services out there, anything can happen because it's in human hands. It requires third party to uh, to verify the transaction and everything else. And they can make mistakes. Humans make mistakes. Computers don't. Especially blockchain because it's a consensus of all the computers. You know, it's not going to make a mistake. It's always going to get your transaction correct, you know. Uh, I use cryptocurrency for quite a long time. Uh, and I've sent uh, many transactions. A lot of these on coins that are dead now. 
you know coins that that came out uh and and uh, i sent transactions around the internet there's one very interesting coin that came out that was based on kanye west it was called coin ye coin ye instead of kanye coin ye and i mined a few of them you know they're totally worthless right now uh, I got them on a wall at some place, I think. These coin yees, coin -y coins. <laughs> I mean, there's no nodes running or anything even anymore. It's dead, you know. The coin's dead, you know. But the coins still exist on a wallet, and I could still transmit them, I guess, if somebody else had a coin yee wallet. <laughs> I mean, I could just laugh about it, you know. But uh, anyway, listen, thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next show. Bye-bye, guys.